Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another State of Decay 2 video. Today I'm doing a live video. I wanted to do uh, a walkthrough of the most expensive base in the Foothills Territory. And, uh, and the more I think about it, I think I might want to do a series where I share with you guys all the different bases in the game. Uh, but for this video specifically, we're going to do the most expensive base in the Foothills uh, territory, which actually happens to be the big container fort right here in front of you, or in front of me, in front of everybody. <laughs> uh, and it's it's pretty awesome, I gotta admit, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I know a lot of people that have been playing the game for a while may have already noticed that although it is the most expensive base in this territory, it, it might not be the best overall. And, uh, and there's actually a few that I think are like more on this territory specifically. Um, so I, I highly recommend that you do some exploring. I'll try to make a lot of videos so that you guys can kind of come here as, as a hub um, to find out about these, these, different, these different bases that you can get. Um, because, again, like even though this one might be really, really expensive and the most expensive one in this territory, it's definitely not the best. And, uh, and all of them have a few different things that, that make them cool. So uh, I want to start off by letting you guys know that to get this base specifically, it's actually 3,500 influence points, uh, which can actually take quite a long time to gather up. Um, but, but it's definitely worth it. This place is dope. It's really cool. Obviously, a giant container fort here. Um, you guys can see that although it's very, very big from the outside or looks very big, uh, there's a lot of containers on the inside, and it's kind of a giant maze, to be honest with you guys. It, it took a, a while for me to get used to it, especially with there being uh, like three different stories here, or two stories. Um, so it, it's it's very challenging to kind of get around and learn where everything is. Um, but again, it's a pretty awesome base. Like I said, 3,500 influence points. You also have to have eight community members. Um, I think the biggest issue that I ran into when I first got this base was, or before I got the base, was I worked my butt off to get the 3,500 influence points, but I didn't pay attention to how many community members I needed. I only had like six, so then I had to spend all this time uh, trying to gather people um, to help me out. I'm make sure, okay, there's a horde of zombies over there. Hopefully they don't attack me while I'm trying to make the video. I don't even think I have any ammo in my gun. Nope. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so it's a giant container fort. Um, right here is where all the storage is. Obviously, you can manage your storage right when you walk in the front door. Um, there are three parking spots, which is nice. Um, total slots overall, there's 12 here. I think the biggest, the the actual biggest uh, base in this territory has like 15, 16. Or there, I think it might be 16. There's a lot. Um, but th this specific uh, base has 12 total slots. It's got two large slots, small, uh, five small outdoor slots, and five small indoor built-in facilities. I'll show you guys here um, where it is on the map. Uh, it's actually at the southern tip of the foothills. So if you go down here. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to defend from that horde. <laughs> kind of interrupted my video. Anyways, we're here in the hills. I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I guess it's the Cascade Hills and not the Foothills, but um, regardless, it's the hills. So here's the base. Here's the refuge that I'm in right now. Like I was telling you guys, all the different slots that you can have. Um, the existing facilities that I have, I built an infirmary, a watchtower, a solar array, a farm, um, two outdoor beds, um, two gardens. It comes with a fire safe storage. So these last three are what it comes with. It comes with the fire safe storage. Um, which actually is really awesome. Um, basically, it, it, it makes sure that your resources aren't going to be damaged or decay. Uh, it also comes with the three parking spots, obviously, and it comes with a workshop level three, which is nice to have. Um, uh, I, as you guys can see, I had to build two more beds, outdoor beds, um, and the reason for that is because I have nine community members, so I needed to make sure that I, ha I had an extra bed, and generally the outdoor beds aren't very safe, but in this base, obviously if you guys look around, we've got containers everywhere, so it's, it's pretty safe. The only way in is through the main doors. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. I love it. Um, up here is your command center where you can kind of navigate everything, see what your base is looking like. I'll open it up and kind of show you guys. So this is what I got. This is the front where I first walked in. The parking spots. The fire safe storage is right there when you walk in. I got my my workshop um, that was already there um, upstairs. That's on the second second floor, second story, whatever, on top of the first container. Um, I built a watchtower, an infirmary. Um, the command center is there. The solar array, the gardens, and uh, and I actually have a farm here. And the reason I do, I don't normally have all these gardens and farms. I wouldn't recommend doing that. The only reason I have that is because I'm very low on food, as you guys can see my resources, because I'm too lazy to go get more food. I'm trying to make videos and, and learn the map. So. Um, and then I've got three outposts right now. Again, <laughs> I've got two food outposts because I'm too lazy to try to go get food. So, 
Um, but yeah, so this is this is the base. I'll let me walk around a little bit so you guys can have a better view. I haven't done a good job of, of kind of navigating it. But uh, what's nice about this is you actually have four different guard stations, um, as you guys can see in each corner. And this is just kind of a, a benefit of having um, this base. Uh, four of your characters will, will guard each corner and it doesn't cost anything to do that. You don't have to have ammo. It's not like a watchtower. It's just part of this location. You guys can see there's a guy over in this corner and I think there should be a guy right there. Yeah, he's right there. Um, obviously you can't get over there, but, uh, yeah. So you have four guys that kind of man the giant fort, let you guys know if someone's coming from, from certain diff different directions or whatever. Uh, you also have these giant lights, which can be good, can be bad. For me, it's kind of sucky right now because if you look at the map, I still have a plague heart that, again, I'm too lazy to take out. <laughs> um, but these giant lights are dope. So as you guys can see, some of them are pointing in at the base, and uh, and some of them are, some of them are pointing out um, towards the parking lot and towards the back there and the sides. Um, so it can bring zombies towards you. Um, obviously with the giant lights, it's really not, I, I don't notice it. I think, you know, there's so many, there's so much less attacks here than they're worth the smaller house that I had before this place. So, um, I, I think it's pretty safe, especially when you have four guys manning each corner, you, you really don't have to do anything yourself. Um, when I was at the smaller bases, I, I caught myself, um, having to fight zombies a lot in the middle of the night and I didn't even have any, like a generator or anything running. So, but with this place, it's, it's pretty nice, especially having, you know, nine community members in total. Um, me being one, that leaves eight people that are just kind of hanging out. So most of the time when zombies attack, or if a zombie gets through the door, they take them out pretty quick. But um, as you guys can see everything here, it's 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 pretty dope. Um, you got the front door, the back door, obviously. Um, I got my solar array built down here, which is nice. If you guys haven't seen my video, I highly recommend watching that. Um, and let's see, you can go up this little ramp here. It, it's all these little cool little crevices that you can get around with. And you get up here, look at this dude. What is he doing? Just chilling. But uh, but yeah, a giant container for it. I think it's uh, I think it's pretty awesome. You can literally can get in here every different way. But uh, I love the fact that you're able to get up. I almost just jumped off and lost all my health. Um, I love the fact that you're able to get up here and, and you can actually see like a really good distance. Like this is awesome. I feel like I'm on top of a billboard right now, and uh, and you can see this area. It's kind of like a small town in this giant community. And, uh, and we're here in the corner, so there's not a whole lot going on behind us. You can pretty much see everything in front of you, including the roads. And, uh, and yeah, this is pretty much just a walkthrough of the most expensive base in the Cascade Hills. Um, it's, it's sick. It's dope. Like, look, the zombie doesn't even know what, what's going on here. Normally they would attack, I guess, but right now he's just chilling. But, yeah, again, guys, 12 slots, 3,500 influence points, 8 community members to take. Um, two large slots, five small outdoor slots, and five small indoor built facilities. Again, this house is eight, so if you have eight community members, you don't have to worry about building any beds. Um, it's got the fire safe storage three, like I said, the three parking spots, the one workshop, four armed guards, and, uh, and you guys have seen everything I've built. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool, and uh, I highly recommend the base. Um, there's a few other ones that I think are, are, are fun as well and that may be slightly better. They all have different advantages. This one being, you know, the high containers on the end, not having to worry about zombies climbing over fences. Uh, but it's a good base. So I want to know what you guys think of this base. If any of you have it, if any of you have thought about getting it, um, I want to know how you feel about it. If you've played with the base long enough to, to really get a feel for it. But uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?